18 women, each with an accusation of sexual harassment, assault or rape by one of Stockholm's most respected cultural figures. Ever since the global Me Too movement came knocking on Jean-Claude Arnaud's door last year, he's denied any wrongdoing. But earlier this month, Arnaud was put on trial, charged with two counts of rape of the same woman in 2011. At his final hearing, prosecutors called for a minimum three-year sentence. My client has been very scared of going forward with this lawsuit because the accused is a public figure, a person with power and money who can affect her future. Arnaud's wife is a member of the Swedish Academy and the body has close ties to a cultural group run by Arnaud. This scandal has had far-reaching consequences for the Academy, which selects the Nobel Literature Prize winner. After several women linked to the Academy also cited inappropriate behaviour by Arnaud, eight of its 18 members have either resigned or are on leave. For the first time in 70 years, the 2018 Nobel Literature Prize was postponed. And the drama isn't over. If they don't manage to regain legitimacy, then we might be forced to take drastic steps. And one of those drastic steps could be asking permission to have some other organization being responsible for the prize. The Nobel Foundation, meanwhile, insisting it's doing all it can to ensure that by next year, the coveted Nobel Prize for Literature is back on its feet.